Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you. My brothers and sisters who are considering reverting to Islam or taking what is known as the Shahada, which is the declaration of faith that I bear witness there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. In a nutshell, that declaration is made by tongue, it is believed, and it is uh, believed in the heart, and we act upon it. That makes you a Muslim. And together with this are the pillars of Islam. I'm sure by now you would have known exactly what they are. And the pillars of Iman, which is belief. So we believe in Allah, in the angels, in the prophets, in the books, in good and bad faith that comes from the Almighty in the last day, and the day of reckoning and judgment. And those are the pillars of faith. And then the pillars of Islam, we utter the Shahada, we actually pray five times a day, we give alms and charities to the poor, we actually fast during the month of Ramadan, and whoever is able and capable to make the Hajj or to go for the pilgrimage should go. So once that happens and you believe that you know, you're a Muslim, sometimes you need a little bit of a nudge in order to uh, make that decision. Many people are Muslims already before they actually declare the Shahada to others because they've declared it within themselves. They've said it. They've learned, especially during this age of uh, social media. Now, what I want to say is if your family is going to be with you in your decision and they support you, that would be the best thing. Many times it's good to contact your family members. I mean, if someone came to me and asked me to revert, I'd like to see their family members participate in this huge turning point in their lives, which is definitely going to be positive, inshallah. Especially when we are nurtured in the right way and in the right hands, then it's always positive. But if we fall into wrong hands, very rarely, but it does happen, then we tend to become people who just do takfir on others. And that's why when a person reverts to Islam, you have to be careful who you actually associate with. Because if people are making you think that you have to hate Everybody and anybody, they are wrong. They are actually wrong. There are different types of love. There's a certain type of love that is for family members. That's fine. And if they're Muslim, it's a different type of a love. And for your brothers and sisters of the Ummah, it's a different type of a love. For the mother, it's a different type of a love. For your husband, it's a different type of a love. And so on. Uh, for your enemies, there is a type of dislike. And you need to know... Uh, that you must not have an unlimited disliking because it becomes a hate that then uh, becomes unlimited. You end up not wanting goodness for them, but rather harm and only harm. Whereas as Muslims, even those you dislike, you need to want to benefit them by bringing them closer. May Allah make it easy for us. But the reason I'm making this video today is to tell you that try and have your family with you and declare your shahada without delay. And inshallah, take it step by step. You don't have to know every detail of how to pray and reading the Quran and all the surahs off by heart and so much more uh, before you declare your shahada. But in principle, if you believe in the faith, halal, haram, the pillars of Islam, the pillars of Iman, uh, you're good to go, inshallah. And a few basics. Thereafter, when you declare your shahada, you're going to have to learn cleanliness, you're going to have to learn ibadah, worship of Allah and how it's done. And as you learn, you put into practice. As you learn, you put into practice. I usually tell people, if there is something that's not sitting well with you and it's not, it doesn't feel correct, ask about it. Ask again, ask more, ask scholars, ask a lot of other people. You may find different opinions and you might find that what you thought uh, people had told you and wasn't sitting well with you is probably a weak narration or something that's unacceptable. At times it is not the only opinion. Sometimes there are two valid opinions and that's, that does happen. Let's not belittle each other. It does happen. Usually in matters of faith it's straightforward but in matters of the details it, it differs and you have a few sects here and there. Uh, what should you do? Subhanallah. I'm going to make another video explaining to you once you've reverted, what advice I think you would need. In the meantime, like I said, try and involve your family and try not to delay. Uh, you can say your shahada. Many people are asking me to say your shahada. Where should you go? You can go to the nearest masjid. Uh, and at the same time, you can ask a few of your friends or the people whom you have benefited from in order to learn the faith. 
uh, where should I go? So that you can end up going, if there are a few mosques near you, you can end up going to the right one or the one that probably is best suited for what you're trying to do. Also, uh, if you cannot go to the mosque, you can go online. You can search for, uh, you know, wherever you learned, wherever you got to know. If you have a circle of friends, ask them. If not, ask whoever you learned from. You know, there is a, a website called edialogue.org that I know of that actually helps people convert to Islam. Although I'm not affiliated with them, but I do know that they do that job. And uh, apparently they do quite a good job. So it's just one example of so many that are out there. People who can help you declare your faith and they can help you perhaps a few steps thereafter. But let me make another video explaining to you what to do after that. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.